Oh, nice trout. Nice fish. First one of the day. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's a big one, too. Good way to start. Come on. There we go. Great fish. Great fish. Let me set this rod down and uh, show you guys this fish really quick. I, uh, I just got here and this little section that I'm fishing is um, a little bit of it. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's okay. Is uh, a little bit too thick to fish. So I kind of had to cruise through those spots. And uh, my first cast here in this little hole, and we got about a 12, 13 inch brown here. Great fish. I saw him come out. We're going to get him right back. Come on, buddy. See ya. Great fish. Um, I think today is going to be a little bit of a challenge because this, this creek is so low and clear right now. So I just have to be extra, extra slow and careful with how I walk. And uh, hopefully the day keeps going like that fish right there, which that's a, gr that's a great fish for this little creek. Um, as of right now, the biggest fish I've got out of here was uh, 16 inches, 15 and a half, 16 inches, which is a really big fish for here. And uh, I'm always trying to get one a little bigger. If you guys didn't see my video that I put up this last winter, I was steelhead fishing and caught one that was about 26 or 27. And that's uh, by far my personal best brown. But uh, this creek is more of a numbers creek, I would say, than a giant fish creek. I'm sure there are some 20s in here, but very few. So. We're going to fish on up through here and uh, I'm going to make a couple more casts. It's hard to see, but up along there, there's a root bank and I saw that fish shoot out and he swiped at it, came back and hit it again. So they're at least aggressive right now, which is a good, good, good thing. So let's, uh, let's keep working our way up and hope to get into some more fish. There he is. Nice fish. I knew there was a good one in there. Ooh, this is a really nice fish, guys. Come here. Nice fish. I bet that was the one that just stole my worm. Come here, buddy. That's definitely a keeper if we were keeping them today. They have to be 12 inches to keep here in this creek. And if you guys saw my last one, I did keep one fish. That one's kind of darker. I think that's probably a male. I think that's kind of how you tell. Beautiful fish though. Come on, buddy. Super healthy. And there he goes. So there we I have a hard time with this because the red worm method produces a lot of fish, but I, uh, I haven't ran spinners through here yet this year. And, um, it seems like the spinners will produce a little more quality fish. Uh, you get that more aggressive, that more aggressive uh, dominant bite over the feeding bite that I'm kind of going for right now. So I brought a couple spinners with me and um, maybe if I catch a few more fish this way, I'll switch over and run a spinner through some of the productive holes and see how that works. There's one. Oh, nice, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Oh, he's going way down. Really good fish. Oh, he's wrapped up in that log. Come on out of there. Oh, that was a, that's a geez. What an awesome day. He got wrapped up, but I still got him out of there. Oh, buddy. There we go. Awesome fish. Man, you guys, the size today is awesome. Well, that's another keeper. I was keeping them. So it's good to see these good, this good class of fish in here. And there he is. Beautiful fish too. Right back, go on right back to your spot, buddy. There we go. 
There's one. Oh, what a great fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, another awesome fish. Incredible. Just incredible. What a day so far. That's a great fish. All right, let's get him back. So that's number... That would be number three that would be a keeper for today. That's a big one. That's probably 13, 14. And uh, for this creek, you, um, I, b I believe, and I haven't, I'm not positive, and I'm not keeping fish, so I don't really have to know for sure, but it's you can keep five fish that are over 12 inches, but only two of them can be over 15 inches. Um, which is, I think is a good uh, a good kind of rule to have in place so those big ones can at least stand a chance. And um, as you can see, this year there's a good class of that keeper range fish in here, which in the past has not exactly been the case. I've fished this creek for, I think, three or four years now, and um, which I guess it makes sense because... I used to catch a lot of fish in that eight to nine inch range. And you know, all those fish are getting bigger. And as you can see from, as I was saying, all these little two and three and four inch trout in here means there's just a good, it's just a good healthy stream right now. And um, I feel really fortunate to be able to fish it. So I've already got one fish from here, one fish from up here. And we'll make a few more casts up here and see if there's anything else in here. That was a nice one. That was the biggest one of the day. There's one. Jeez. <laughs> that one, I think I don't even need a net on. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Nice little trout, though. See, that's that year class I was kind of just telling you about. Beautiful colors on him bright red dots gosh that's a great looking fish. I'm right back see you buddy and that's that eight to nine inch year class fish which i told you is just this is just packed with those so super fun hopefully you guys like these videos i uh i love pretty much all kinds of fishing as you guys know from watching this channel but uh getting back on these quiet little trout streams is definitely on my uh, list of one of my favorite things to do so peaceful and um, when the fishing is good like it is right now it's uh, it doesn't get much better so that's three trout out of this one little cut so far and I'm gonna I normally if I catch a fish out of it out of a spot I make like three or four more really good casts through that area before going to the next one and um, that way you just make sure if there is another fish in there that you get them. And uh, a lot of times though, I think you catching a fish out of a spot kind of spooks the rest of the fish and uh, turns that spot off a little bit. But <laughs> there was another one that just came out and he got my worm. If uh, So I got one of these little magnet things, which is really cool. So basically you got a, hopefully you can see it, a bungee cord on the bottom of the net that goes to my wading belt and then this is i have another part of this magnet that's connected to the top part of my um waders so i can just spin around my back and it connects right on there and the net just hangs from my back and uh keeps it out of the way and it's always there when you need it i always struggled with what to do with the net and then i found those magnets and kind of finagled a way to keep it on my back and it's working really good All right, well, I got a little uh, knot in my line, and um, I thought it'd be a great time to switch out for one of these SMEP spinners and just see how it goes with how these fish are feeding today and how aggressive they are. I think that we're going to have some good luck with this thing, but uh, it's always nice to not have to rebate all the time and these spinners just catch fish. I'm using a just like a brass with a chrome blade on it. I figure it's nice and sunny out. 
Put, 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 put off a really nice flash. And uh, this one is a number one, really small size. And it's because this creek does not flow very fast and it's not very deep. So you don't have to run a big one. The small one will work just fine. I wish you guys could see this. There's about 20 baby trout down here that are uh, all chasing after this spinner. There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's a really nice fish, actually. <laughs> They're getting that current. Look how pretty that is. Hopefully you guys are seeing that my shadow's in the way. Look at him. He's like, I don't even know if I'm hooked or what the deal is. Come here, buddy. He gets you unhooked. To show you guys this fish really quick. And if we were keeping them, this would be probably the fourth keeper we've gotten. This one's this one's at 12 for sure. He's a little skinny. Nice fish though. Hopefully you guys can see him. Get him right back. And he went right under that cut. And just like that, two minutes after changing to the spinner, and we got a fish. So it worked. There he is. <laughs> he about jumped in my hand. Here, come here, buddy. Come here. All right, we'll get you right on the back. Oh, he almost got me. He's just got one of those hooks in him. Show you guys really quick. See, that one doesn't have those big red dots. It has some smaller ones. Beautiful fish, though. Hopefully, you guys can see it good. Get him right back. That was probably the one that hit it that first time, but I'll make a couple more casts in here. Ooh. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but uh, that was about a six foot long snake. And oh, there he is. He's all coiled up there. I'm sure you guys can't see him. <laughs> if you guys know anything about me, I don't like snakes. Call me a sissy. I'm okay with that. All right, guys, I'm making my way up through here a little bit. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, these streams. And, uh, you know, they're public streams. However, a lot of these uh, go through private property here, especially in Southwest Michigan, you know, there's only so much room. So just be respectful when you guys do this. And, um, you know, I've got a buddy actually that his property backs up against one of these streams and he's got people trespassing and all kinds of stuff. And it just gives everybody a bad name. So be respectful of where you access these creeks at. You know, obviously if you're in the creek, it's that's all public, but stay off people's property and, uh, just have a good time and don't cause problems for people that do the right thing. That's the main thing, I guess. But we just cruised past kind of the halfway point. I'm going to fish a spinner from here on out and hope for one more big one. Um, so stay tuned. Come along with me. Here it is. Ooh, that looks tasty. Let's get a big one. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. There he is. Ooh, this is a big fish. Get in the net. Nice fish. Oh, I need to revive him a little bit here before I show you guys. And that would be my fourth keeper of the day. There he is, guys. Beautiful fish. That one's about 13, 14. We'll get him right back. Let him go back down over there. That was a really cool thing to see. He he popped right out, right there, out from that little bank and was feeding on something. At least I'm assuming it was that fish. And I made one cast, he hit it, second cast, 
Got him. Let's see if there's another one up there. There's one. Oh. <laughs> come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Scrappy. There he is. Beauty. See you, buddy. Gosh, I love these fish. <laughs> so much fun. Another one. Same hole, second, next cast. Same kind of small one. And I'm right back. I don't really want to catch it because he's small. He just engulfed it, too. Let's get him up and really quick. There you go, buddy. Okay, so here's, let me show you real quick how I have this net. You can see, so it hangs from this spot right here, so I can quickly pop it, net the fish, and it kind of hangs right there, super handy. And it comes back, and it just kind of quick pops on, you're good to go. There's a good uh, tip, maybe everybody knows that, and I just don't, I don't know. But anyways, I am uh, back to the truck, and I wanted to actually quickly say, I was going through, like I was talking about earlier, I was kind of giving you guys a quick little lecture on being respectful on these properties. And I ran into a guy that gave me some, he owns one of the properties that this stream backs up to. And I started talking with him a little bit, super nice guy. And uh, he gave me some really good information on another spot to try that is, up river a little bit further and i've never been able to access it and he explained the access point to it so there's uh karma right there i guess be respectful and um you guys will probably get some info just like that but what a great day i bet i caught 20 or 30 fish if i was keeping fish i think i would have i think i would have had my limit of uh of trout which any day you go out and fish is good but when you can really get into them like that it's awesome so hopefully you guys like these videos i really really love trout fishing um here in michigan there's so many different trout streams that you can access and uh this one i mean it seems like it's pretty much unfished and untouched by people so that's what makes it i think so good like i said all through that video i saw so many little fingerling trout that big which is a great sign for this this creek and um i also caught a lot of that really good 13 14 inch class fish which is just incredible because that uh i normally don't get into them that size here so anyways um hopefully you guys like these videos i love 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 doing this so i'll be doing more of it i'm gonna get out pretty soon and start chasing some kings out on the big lake so if you're into fishing or uh, you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel um and i totally appreciate all you guys that watch it really, uh, it's fun. It's fun filming it and it's fun getting out and um, fishing. So thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel.